Hi everyone, I'm Nikki, this is Lee, and we just bought a new house. And we're back again. It's Groundhog Day. I'm back for more painting. I didn't really film anything yesterday because the light was so bad in the rooms. I couldn't even see <laughs> with the area that I'd painted. So I doubt you could see it on the camera, but I'm hoping today it's a lot less rainy. So I'm hoping we can see a bit better, but let's go in. First things first, you know what to do. We've got to empty out this bad boy. Let's see how full he is. We'll have to take that off again. All right. Oh yeah, he's full. He's very full. Have a look at that. That's good, it's sucking it all out of the floor here. It all needs to dry out. All this floor needs to dry out. I put it in this room because it needs to be tiled first. So I'm hoping we can dry it faster by leaving it in here. Sucked out a lot of water though, so let's throw it out. One job done. Okay, back up the stairs. Actually, not having the stairs is causing a big delay because they say it's Christmas holidays about to start, everyone's leaving. So they say it's gonna take about four weeks to make and that's gonna put us way over schedule. But look, at, have a look at this room. It's looking a little bit brighter today. So I think I'm gonna start in here because the light's coming through, work my way into the hallway. But let's go have a look because yesterday I did paint the baby room and I want to see how our second layer came out because I couldn't see anything while I was painting in here. I don't know if you can see anything, but it looks pretty nice to me. It looks really nice. All right, I'm happy with that. We've got one done room. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm happy with that. One done room here. So I'm supposed to pull these off now. Let's pull these off. That'll look, that'll look cool once that comes off. Here we go, ready? Oh, it ripped. Beautiful. I don't want it to peel the paint off over here. There we go. Okay, lovely jubbly. We've got one room done. Okay, let's get these ones too. Okay. It's actually, it's a fun part of the job ripping these off to leave a perfect line. Oh, we're peeling the actual wood off. Yep. It's leaving a nice straight line. But what we don't want to do is get any runs. Ah, come on. Okay, there's one piece off. That looks really nice. Straight line there. Very happy with that. Let's get the next one off. It's very satisfying to watch this. Oh, don't tear, don't tear. I'm really happy that this came, oh, is that paint? Whoops, I missed a spot. <laughs> I'll have to sand that back. Nice. Very proud to have one room done. And the last one over here. Beautiful, that is looking lovely. Just this final piece to go. All right. It is done, one room. Oh my gosh, it's looking really white. Okay, I love it, beautiful. <laughs> cool, let's move on to the second room. And last night I put another paint peeler layer on this as well. So this should remove the final layer, I hope. It doesn't look like it's had any chemical reaction at all. Usually it's like bubbling and peeling like over here, you can see. But over here, there's nothing, just a little bit here. Oh, this spot here, see, it looks like that. But what I can do is hit it with a heat gun and that just starts the process a bit stronger if that doesn't work, but that's the last layer. I've done that three times now, it's so time consuming. I always say you only have to do it once, but in that case, you only have to do it three times. 
to get started in this room, I've got to clean out all this mess, move it to the other room which is finished. Let's do it. We've actually done that first room, two coats and all the other rooms on this level with one bucket of paint. So this is all we've got left. So I'm gonna finish this bucket now and I'm gonna start stirring the other new bucket ready because we're gonna do the roof and I need to have that ready so it doesn't dry. I don't wanna get any lines up here while I'm painting the roof. All right, bucket number two. There we go. This one's gonna need a good stir. Look at, the, look at the color difference. Have a look at the color difference. That one's white and that one's yellow. That's why it needs a good stir. But yeah, it's the same color, I hope. Double check, yep. <laughs> Always good to double check these things. Okay, let's, let's get stirring. Look at all that yellow in there. Got to stir this around for quite a while. Get it good mixed, which is hard when it's a full tub, tub because it's so thick. So what I usually do is try and pull it up from the bottom like that, because I don't have a hand mixer. That way I push the stuff down from the top, pull it up from the bottom and get all the different materials mixed perfectly that's in there in the mix of this paint. But yeah, I might be here for a while, so. Okay, time to pour it in. Mm. Another day, another roller. <laughs> Still a little bit left in this one. But I want to get making the most of this bright light while I can, because it's really hard to see, so let's go. Everything off the ground. Okay, I'm ready. I've done the roof and this wall over here, it is so hard with the light in here to paint white on white and see what you're actually doing. So I'm hoping it's looking good. I'm getting the angles here. I'm moving around trying to get the light, but it's so hard to see. I mean, it's looking good. I can't see any streaks up there. So fingers crossed it dries good. The other, the other room dried good as well, so I hope this one do. <laughs> I hope this one does. But just taking my time, doing the second coat, making it right, and uh, yeah, it's coming along. But it's so hard to see. I'm gonna put some tunes on, put you back on the time lapse, or maybe a podcast again. That was good. I listened to Kelly Slater on um, Joe Rogan. That was a good episode. And the other show I watched was called The End of Humanity, which was a really good one. Ten part series. So if you've got any good podcasts you can re recommend, let me know. I need them. <laughs> Perfect for painting. I'm sure this has been like a two minute time lapse or less for you guys. My shoulders are sore, been here for hours. I've got one more wall to go and then this room is done. That's two rooms, awesome. So I'm pretty excited. I'm actually thinking a lot about, we made a bit of a mistake about the stairs. It's hard to move in when you've got no stairs and I've been calling around to get some quotes on stairs and they're saying, they're about to shut for Christmas holidays. It's gonna take four weeks, five weeks. So that puts us what, a month over the move-in date that we hoped for, all because of one thing we didn't plan earlier. But the thing is we couldn't really plan it earlier because we haven't got the measurements for where the tiles are gonna go. So yeah, I don't know how I would have fixed it, but I'm calling around to see who can do it the fastest and they'll get the job. <laughs> so wish me luck on that one. Okay, I've double painted an area here because it's so hard to see where the white is, but this is exciting. It's the last piece of the room and then we're done. If I could just figure out which part of the room I need to paint. I think it's just this section here. Let's go. And there's some leftover paint here where I've double painted. This will be inside the cupboard, so it doesn't really matter too much if I mess this section up, but. I think it's all right. All right, we're done. The bedroom, our bedroom is done, Nikki. <laughs> She'll be happy. Now I'm just gonna do the hallway. Hopefully I can finish that today. <sighs> I need a break first though, and a glass of water. So now I have the joy of pulling off 
the painting tape and hopefully there's no paint on the wood below. But the idea is you're supposed to get it off while it's wet so it doesn't rip the paint. This might take a second. Ta-da! Looking good. Oh, I like it. Oh my God, there's a pleasure in painting, I tell you. A real pleasure, let's do the other one. Gotta be careful on this edge so I don't pull the paint. There we go, beautiful. Let's do down here. Lovely. Well, I have some really good news to report. I've been busy since our last check-in and I've finished the hallway, two coats. So that is awesome. It's looking white, white, white in here. And have a look in there. Look at that, it looks so clean. And in here, all nice and white, beautiful. I'm very proud of myself, but I'm not done yet. But this floor is done, it is painted. I've got these stairs to do. What I'm gonna do is take it upstairs and I'm gonna mask all the wood here that I sanded. So I've already done the V's. I'm gonna do these ones, cover them up, and then we can start up here cutting in. Oh my gosh, we're getting a lot done today. This is great. Let's keep going. We're on a roll. The taping is all done, so now I've just got to cut it in. So I've just taped it along here, so I can just paint along here and I don't have to worry about the timber too much. It's gonna look much, much better. And I'll have much sharper edges just by putting a little bit of that tape along. Where I've pulled it off downstairs, it's looked really nice. So a little bit of time to do that, worth it in the end and much faster. So exciting times, we're painting in the attic. that's probably gonna look the most like the one that we're gonna get. With a single pole in the middle? Yeah, single pole, all sticking steps. And have a look at Nikki's belly as well. <gasps> Not long to go. <laughs> Nine more days to go. <laughs> Nine more days, okay. Yeah, we're getting close now. Yeah. G'day guys, I brought a very special guest with us. Nikki, <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah. And we are here in the tile store to pick out tiles. Yay! <laughs> and we've brought our trusty tile here, which we're gonna put on the floor. And hopefully today we can find one to match it. Hopefully. Yeah, well, let's do it. Let's go. Ahead. Let's go. Tile shopping. Nikki's in her element. Yeah, so we picked out this one for the floor and now we're gonna find this the matching is, one. Yeah. So we're taking maybe something. We else. need some help with this one. So colorful. I think that looks Pretty good. It's hard with this light. It is hard with this light. Something like that? Yeah. That looks pretty good. I think that's my favorite too so far. And we've got a bit of a catch here because we've already bought the sink and we think it doesn't match the tile, so we've done it back to front. <laughs> yeah, so we, we bought a marble sink, which is very nice, but it's a bit gray and it doesn't go with this at all. It doesn't really, yeah. So that means we're going to have to buy. A new sink. A new sink. <laughs> yeah. But look at all these nice tiles. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at more. So we've got tiles from all around the world here, handmade. Lots of cool ones to choose, Nikki. Very cool ones, yeah. That one looks nice too. You want to try that one? Sure. Yeah? Do you think? Mm. It's, I'm looking through the camera here. It's hard to tell. No, I don't think this is a good match. No. It looks more pink in the camera, but in real life it's more terracotta. Yeah. Yeah, okay. This one maybe? Yeah. They're a bit thick though. Yeah, they are quite thick. They seem really thick these tiles, so we have a narrow bathroom, so the thinner is better. Here watch this. Nikki's yeah. gonna love these ones. <laughs> oh I do like it, do you? Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty Mediterranean, nice. Mediterranean, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. Mediterranean's good, it's nice and warm. Yeah. It's gonna cost us two inches 
Two centimeters. Two centimeters, yeah. Which is going to affect the sink, right? Because the sink has to... Well, we have to buy a new sink anyway, so... <laughs> yeah, no. So the toilet you walk in, and at the back we've got a wall. That means we don't lose space, really. But on the sides, we're having the sink. So that means the, net, the, the thinner, the better. Uh, but we could also paint those, Nikki. Yeah. Does the gray tile go with that, the gray sink? Mm, no. <laughs> no, so It's okay. too gray. This is definitely an option for me. Yeah, you is like it, it. Is it for you? Yeah, I think it looks really nice. We also have different shapes. And we also have one that's a little bit darker here. Yeah. I think I like the other one better. <laughs> I do too. These are also even thicker. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, no, I like the other ones better. Yeah, okay, me too. So this is the same tile, I think, just a different shape. What do you like better? I, I like the color. I think the color matches. I think so. They're both so similar. It's just a preference in shape. Nikki's got the jacket off now, things are getting serious. Yes. <laughs> I think we need to get some colour because it's like a bit of a, you know, sandy colour. And if you go beige on beige, it's a bit boring. We're not too much of a fan of beige. And especially because that toilet is quite dark. So I think it's nice to add some colour. Nothing really goes with this tile. I think we've bought the most stubborn tile in the world. Why did we do that, Nikki? Because it wasn't stock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think you should stay away from the pale ones. Yeah. Black goes with it, all right. Yeah, but I don't want a black toilet. It only goes with the beige colors. Orangey colors. Yeah, orange. These ones here go the best with it. That might be the option, Nikki. I think we go with that one. All know. right, decision made, let's go. <laughs> Dream on. Yeah. I'm not sure if I want a square tile though. Okay. Well, you let's... can also tile them like this, actually. Yeah. What I saw. Yeah. Could be nice. Yeah. But maybe they're a bit too smooth, you know? Texture wise. I like those tiles because they're all like a little bit different. They're all handmade, yeah. Yeah. So lots of different shapes, colors, sizes, patterns, but nothing seems to match our ones. Think this is pretty cool. Yeah, it's really cool. You can even replace some of the tiles and stuff mm -hmm. for different colors. Well, we have an old area over there. Okay, should we go out there then? Yeah. All right, what have you got here? Well, lots more tiles. Yeah. Okay, you want me to hold that for you? Let's it looks like it. you're carrying too much already, Nikki. How amazing is this shop though? It looks so cool, it's so colorful. These are like printed tiles. I'm not really a fan of them, but they do look colorful, so that's nice. These aren't print printed. No, they're not. Oh no, they're not. Wow, okay. You wanna have something like that then? Something like that. Let's see how, what color Ooh, we what can. What do you think about this? Very 70s, I think it's groovy. <laughs> uh, what about these ones here, these pink ones? This? The one below? No, they're too pale. Too pale, yeah. It just doesn't go with anything pink. Do you like that? It's a heavy tile. Why did we have to pick the, the heaviest tile out there? What about this one, Nikki? No. 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 Okay. I don't like that yellow. Okay. The whole row, I don't like it. Oh, this one's gold, Nikki. No, it's brown. It's not. It's gold. Ah, oh, it's brown. It does go well with it, though. She's vomiting. She's going... <laughs> <laughs> Let's start from the bottom. No, definitely not that one. Definitely not that one. Definitely not, not that one. That looks better. Looks better than, you cannot have pale, that's for sure. It matches something like that. It looks like it's from that. <laughs> you said it was Mediterranean. Okay, here we've got a couple of options. Greys, we don't really like grey. Kind of got a tile that only goes with grey. <laughs> it really doesn't match anything, it's incredible. It's like the tile that doesn't match anything, it's this one. Why did we get this one? Don't get this tile. Don't get this tile. Well, now we won't know why it was in stock. <laughs> it, it's, yeah, now we know why it was in stock. 
No tile goes with it. What about that green there? No. What? Well, what about one of these? You don't like square tiles, first of all. I would just want another color because you have that. Hold it up higher. I think it's gonna have to be something like that. <sighs> yeah, terracotta. Maybe we need some advice. Yeah, maybe we need some advice, but we seem to have picked the tile that goes with no other tile in the world. How did that happen? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How do we do that? Actually, I'm gonna take you guys to show you another tile we liked, which wasn't on order. Wasn't in stock. Wasn't in stock. Delivery time was six to eight weeks. Yeah, six to eight weeks, but we love it. Anything in here? Independent woman. These are all whites. Well, maybe white is an option. Maybe the one below that. That goes with it. No, this one, try that one. That definitely goes with it. I hate it. Oh my gosh, it's the only tile in here that matches it. I, I hate, hate it. it. <laughs> <laughs> so Nikki might have found a tile that works with the tile that nothing works with and they have it in stock. <laughs> yeah, very important. So this is the one. We're already calling it the one. Well. <laughs> There's no other option because it literally is the one. <laughs> this is the only one. <laughs> the one and only. Yeah, it's a bit orangey. It's bright. They're not like super smooth, which is what I like. A bit of texture. Yeah. Okay. And you can have them like this, or like this, or yeah. fishbone or whatever. Yeah, okay. And you want to have that on all the walls or just the back wall? I'm thinking just the back wall. Yeah. And then what will we do on the side walls then? We have to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else while we're here? Let's see if there's something that matches with the three. Maybe we do one wall on the other side. What about this one? I think this might be a bit much yeah. altogether, you know? Yeah. I think. Although that does look nice just on its own without that one. This? Yeah. Looks a bit fancy. I, th I think I like that better. The problem with this tile is you have to match it with this orange thing and that orange is just classic 70s, you know what I mean? It just dates the bathroom, but you don't want to match it with the grey because then you've got a grey bathroom. This one is kind of like a nice natural stone. It's almost like that matches the stone in there exactly. And I think this tile is like a more modern one, so it kind of gives the bathroom a bit of a fancy feel and you only need this on the back wall as well. What do you reckon, Nikki? Yeah, it's definitely worth to think about it. Yeah? I do kind of like it. Yeah. I do like the long Tiles, vertical yeah. ones. Yeah. Okay, well, let's ask how long the delivery date on these are. All right, we've got a gold tap there now, Nikki. What do you think? I'm just going to take a photo of this. <laughs> no, it's hard. It's hard, isn't it? <laughs> it's impossible. It, it, and this tile doesn't make it easy. When we bought it, it looked kind of like beigey and orangey, but now that you look at it, it's kind of like grey. And I'm not a big fan of grey. Definitely not. Nikki's enemy number one is grey. So this is the other tile we were thinking about getting, which we can't because it's gonna take two months to get here. They're all handmade. But watch this, watch how many tiles this matches with. Matches with all of them. Do you know what I mean? Look, it literally matches with every tile on that level. I didn't even practice this, you know? <laughs> it goes with that one. Yeah. It's incredible. It literally goes with every tile on the wall here. And the other tile, nothing. So it's a magical tile, this one, and honestly, if we had the time, I would definitely 100,000% get this one. Yeah, me too. So this place is closing in five minutes. We have to get out of here at least, but we also have to make a decision. What are you leaning towards, Nikki? Come on. Oh, I don't know. I see it like this. It looks quite nice. Yeah. Like you can also lay like this. Right. Oh, you could do it like a fishbone pattern. Yeah, like this one does look a bit fancier, but... Well, it's time for us to go, so... Uh... We'll uh, get back to you with a decision we've made later. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, but we're getting kicked out now, so time to go. We are back at the house the next day. We've got our sample tile here on the ones we picked up from the tile store yesterday. So let's go in and see what they look like in the house. Come on in. Okay, so these are the tiles that we've got. And the thing with this tile that we discovered, which you saw at the store, it matches no other tiles. So these are the only ones that we thought would match and they do look nice and it is a nice tile. And it fits in the bathroom here. So if I go like this and hold it up like that, we can do different patterns as well. So we can go like that. We can go like that on its side. 
or we can do angles, etc. So you can mix it up to make it look nice. But it is very restrictive. We literally just had the Tyler come in and he said the floor, which we poured in, still won't be ready in time for him to tile for at least three to four weeks. So if it's gonna take three to four weeks for this floor to dry, then I think the benefit of having this tile was that we get it done sooner, throws that out the window. So I think we should get the other tile, which matches everything. Which means we have to sell this one secondhand on my Facebook or something like that. But then you have a tile that matches everything in the house. If you want to change it later, we should do that. And uh, we just have to admit defeat today. The due date for the baby, the house won't be ready. And in fact, just with this one thing, it's gonna blow out at least a month, possibly two. So I'm feeling a little bit deflated. I think it's a fate we have to accept. We're defeated. The, um, the renovation was going perfect. Everything was going good. And we got so close and we've been working so hard. But at the same time, Nikki's about to have a baby. It's very stressful to have this kind of pressure put on you right now. So it gives us a bit of a breather where I don't have to paint the house and get it finished immediately. We don't have to put the stairs in. We don't have to do the floor. And we can pick some things out that we like and take some more time to do that. So. Let's um, just give some time to uh, digest that. But you know, this is renovating. Yeah, we we're new and we didn't know these things. But I think, yeah, it's pretty normal to have a time blowout on this one. There we go.